the truth. First rule of Fight Club is what do you talk? A warning from North Korea, Pyongyang says it is ready to use nuclear weapons at any time if the U.S. and other countries pursue a, quote, hostile policy toward Kim Jong-un's government. That is according to North Korean state media. Now, Kathy Novak is live in Seoul, South Korea, with the latest developments. So what does this mean, pursue hostile policy towards uh, the Kim Jong-un regime? Well, this is a new threat that is coming out of KCNA, North Korea's state media. Back in 2013, North Korea vowed to restart operations at its Yongbyong nuclear complex. And according, it says, to the director of the Atomic Energy Institute in North Korea, that facility has uh, normal operations, he says now. And here's a little bit more of what he had to say in this KCNA article. He says, as known by the world, the DPRK, that's North Korea's access to nuclear weapons, is an outcome of the U.S. hostile policy towards it. And he goes on to say, if the U.S. and other hostile forces persistently seek their reckless hostile policy towards the DPRK and behave mischievously, the DPRK is fully ready to cope with them with nuclear weapons at any time. So this is a threat coming out of North Korea to attack the United States with nuclear weapons. And it comes ahead of a major anniversary that North Korea is planning to mark next month, the 70th anniversary of the founding of its Workers' Party, and there's speculation that there may be more provocation from North Korea at that time, and fueling this is a separate uh, KCNA article that has recently come out saying that North Korea is in the final stages of developing a new satellite, and it says it's for peaceful purposes, but many believe that's just code for testing a ballistic missile technology, which would be in violation of UN sanctions against against North Korea. I spoke to the United States Ambassador to South Korea, Mark Libert, and here's what he had to say about that. We've moved uh, over time uh, a good deal of missile defense uh, capability to the region, ground-based interceptors to Alaska, surface combatants uh, to the Western Pacific, a THAAD battery on Guam, another radar in Japan, in order to be ready and vigilant uh, for anything that the North Koreans may or may not do. North Korea does say that a satellite launch would be for peaceful purposes. Do you believe it could be anything but a veiled test of ballistic missile technology? Well, past practice has shown that the North uh, has consistently violated United Nations Security Council resolutions, uh, international norms, and conducted uh, ballistic missile launches that have brought widespread condemnation uh, from the international community. So the United States says it is ready to take on any new threat from North Korea, and South Korea's defense ministry also says it is closely watching these developments. Rosemary. All right, Kathy Novak uh, reporting there on the latest threat from North Korea, live in Seoul from the South. Many thanks to you.